did you go on the countryside marches in the UK? Have you protested in favour of hunting in the USA or Australia? Were you in Dusseldorf the other day, showing the local government your support for hunting? Well, none of us have had it as bad as Malta. The Swedes, they've got the moose. Yorkshire, they've got the grouse. <laughs> We've got the turtle love and quail. The spotlight and pressure on these hunters is unprecedented. The Antis have been fielding their big guns, celebrities getting valuable airtime to bring about a ban on bird shooting. They did well and forced a referendum held last weekend. And after teetering over the precipice, the hunters fought off the bad press. So here I am in Malta to find out whether this Mediterranean island's hunters are the cowboys the comedian Bill Oddie says they are. First, have a guess how many birds they can shoot during the spring season. We can catch each four, the maximum. The hunting season is opened for 20 days, half days, till 2 p.m. Uh, on Sunday and on Saturday till noon. And even there is some areas in Malta till 10. Just in case you missed that, it's four birds per season, which lasts 20 half days. I don't think Andy Crow will be visiting Malta anytime soon. And then there's the paperwork. Before you go hunting, you have to write down the day, the date, the place you are going hunting and the, um, the number of the species that you, you're going to hunt. In this case it's turtle, duff and quay, so one and two. And then after you, uh, you catch a uh, turtle, duff, you have to write down here uh, the number. So that's a bit of the backstory. No mass slaughter, as described this week, and if you shoot a legal quarry, it means big fines, prison and loss of licence. On that note, let's go hunting on the first day of the spring hunting season. Traditionally, they shoot doves and quail from what look like grouse spots, and then eat them. We just sit here, we put um, the gun there and we wait for uh, maybe a dove. In the early morning sun, we spot not doves nor quail, but lesser spotted protesters. Very common round here. Numbers are here, look, running with their cameras. Oh, what are they, are they aunties? Yeah. Here is all, all private land, eh? They, they could... they're, they're, uh, go this is trespass and the protesters seem to know it. Their first reaction is oh, to retreat. Is when they see that we mean business, they come over to talk. It's all of it is private land, but I've got no problem with that. Okay, thanks. Just as long as you identify yourself with the people okay. when you're... Did you see there's a stone curlew? Yeah, just yeah, 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 I saw that, yes. We were watching we saw one the, dove. Lesser, the Lesser Castrels over Yeah, here. Lesser Castrels, and I saw... And I, I came over... So they are bird watchers. Of course they are. Just Rupert is a Brit who has been on the island for three years, part of it working for BirdLife International, which has led the campaign against hunters private land, it's oh, all okay. it belongs this, to us. I thought this okay. was like a footpath down to no, the, no, the lines. No. Do you think they were really bird watchers? Uh, I don't know really, I could never tell. Um, but I don't like confrontation, I mean I like we're here doing something legal, whatever is legal I am protected to do, so and I've got no problem them enjoying themselves watching birds that are protected. He said he saw Stone Carlo. Uh, landing somewhere and he wanted to take a couple of shots. I've got no problem with that at all. Uh, but they have to have the decency at least to ask and uh, identify themselves so that at least we know where they are and what they're doing. So what is all the fuss about? It's about these. Just like salmon anglers taking advantage of the fish going to spawn and not unlike British woodcock shooters or American duck hunters enjoying the sporting bonanza of bird migrations, the best time to shoot the quail and turtle doves that fly from Africa to Europe and back again is when they're on the move, heading to Europe to breed. Once the Antis reckoned they could win this spring hunting referendum, they really turned the spotlight on Malta. They started telling lies. They started confrontation that led to violence. They did find out some bad practice, and you could argue that has been a good thing. If people were shooting birds illegally here now, they probably aren't going to anymore. But it has been a long and harrowing campaign, and the Antis clearly had it in mind that if they captured Malta, the rest of Europe could fall in behind. Lucas has hunted all over the world. He understands and respects other hunting cultures and doesn't understand why his is being scrutinised and confronted by sobbing TV personalities. 
encountered Chris Beckham with his camera person. We said we shoot millions of, of birds every year and crying on, on video just... I mean, for money, everyone does, does, does the same. I mean, for sure he was paid to do his job, I mean, so... And now there's a court ruling as well against Chris Beckham, so... You, you managed to get a court ruling? Yep. For sure he won't be here when, when the ruling would be would be heard. <laughs> he'll, be, he'll be back in the UK trying to <laughs> No, but I mean, we had, we had Bill Oddy also, Brian May. The Antis have trouble telling the difference between a turtle dove and a collared dove, as this picture from the League Against Cruel Sports boss Joe Duckworth's Twitter page shows. Joe's been on the bandwagon, sorry, Island 2. He is releasing a common collared dove, not a turtle dove. We don't shoot turtle doves in the UK, but if you want to provide useful turtle dove conservation and maybe a welcome boost in numbers for Maltese hunters, shoot a collared dove today. It will free up turtle dove nesting sites. For people like Lucas, losing hunting would have been devastating. It was a do or die situation for us. I had a lot of sleepless nights, let's say. So yeah. <laughs> Thursday ended up, I ended up in hospital because I had my my um, my blood pressure just <laughs> so one could imagine it's it's quite important for us. I mean, you're a hunter yourself, so <laughs> you could understand. Bird shooting is not the only kind of shooting on the island. If you're coming on holiday, give a couple of weeks' notice to get the necessary permits, and you can come to the MacTab Shooting Range, one of several on Malta. And tell me, what what have you what have you got here by way of uh, targets? What are you what are you shooting here? Well, the shooting game, um, the first one we have the, the pointed to well lot, which means the revolver, piston, um, uh, rifle calibers, um, like the pointed to well lot. And then um, we have the clay pigeon, which means the uh, DTL and the double trap. Down there, there's the uh, archery range. And the other side, there's the, the, the paintball. There. Shooting is big on the island. On nearby Gozo, you can shoot full bore rifles. On Malta, the residents are restricted to rimfire calibers. With Libya now under attack from Islamic State and just 200 miles away, home defence is an issue here. Back at the hunt and the long wait for a bird to come past continues. So what is the future? Godfrey is clear. Respect the law and respect the will of the masses. I believe that uh, the people that put the trust and the vote in me, I've got to respect that and I've got to work hard there. Uh, to show them that the, their vote was uh, worth it. People like Bill Oddy and Chris Packham have cleared out the FKNK's fund. If you are feeling generous, go to their website, iva.org.mt, and donate. This fight ain't over yet. If you are the kind of person who likes banning other people from doing things, one benefit of democracy is that you get to ask the same question over and over again until you get the answer you want.